I think the testing regimes suit the system because they affirm what the system is aiming to do or it affirms the, the status quo really. And great systems, innovative systems will take whatever data they've got and have conversations with practitioners and with students as well about what that data means. And it has to be timely. You have to get that data quickly to the right people, the decision makers and also the people that they're basing the decision on because data is an evidence. Um, you know, data is data and then it turns into evidence depending on, on how you use it. And I think that's the danger of um, taking, uh, obsessing over test scores is, yeah, I, I wouldn't obsess over the quality of one cup of coffee that I have at a conference and judge the whole conference on that or judge the presenter that I've just listened to on that. Um, it's a snapshot. It's, it's one, you know, data point that I can make some decisions about. Um, but what if we did the more complex and difficult thing of, of flipping around the focus of that testing and saying, well, how do you want to be tested? what you know show us a portfolio of stuff and that's what i hope technology will allow us to do is instead of, instead of um, having automated marking of multiple choice tests for example you have machine learning that actually assesses and, and measures and um, gives feedback on um, a huge mass of different projects and things like that but then you put it through a human filter as well and a contextual filter too because we all know that yeah some kids are always going to fail standardised tests in our mission to be the best. But then I want every nation to be the best. Like it's a great um, a principal in Sydney talks about um, how, or, or he says, look, what do I win when we get to the top of Pisa? You know, do I get a, another sheep for my school farm or, or something like that? It's, you know, what do we win? So it's if there's no motivation or if there's no genuine um, reward, I suppose, and the reward can be collective as well, like we, we drag those 3,000 um, primary schools in Laos out of not having electricity. Like that would be an awesome reward for the world. And kids these days, I'd like to think, are interested in that kind of a project. So instead of it being, um, oh, you can't progress in your learning or you haven't progressed in your learning because you can't demonstrate X, Y, and Z, actually, of course, they're progressing in the learning. But life's teaching us more lessons sometimes than school is. And we've just got to embrace that.